Let's look at the Batman frappe à la seconde. So you now have two positions to consider. You have the flex position at the front of the ankle bone, and you also have the flex position at the back of the ankle bone. Because if you're performing a series of Batman frappes à la seconde, then the leg will alternate from the front to the back, and then back to the front, and then to the back. Very much like your Batman Tom Juice à la seconde, usually will change from the front to the back. The Batman Frappe à la seconde very much follows the same trajectory as your Batman Tom Juice à la seconde. So, for example, the extension of the leg shouldn't go behind your second. Okay, so very much like your Batman Tondu à la seconde, which should be in line with your other toe, the Batman Frappe à la seconde is exactly the same thing. Out and in, and out and in. Can you see that regardless of whether the leg has come from the front or from the back, the end position is exactly the same? So what I often see is if you're doing a series of backward frappes à la seconde, the leg that comes from the back often stays at the back, which as you can see is too far behind your second. Something else to be aware of when you're performing your baton frappe à la seconde is to ensure that the leg is coming out straight and coming back in straight and not performing little circles as you go out and come back in. So if I stand this way, I think you'll be able to see better. For example, from here, the leg needs to extend straight out to the side and needs to come back in straight. Thank you for watching and I hope that you have found this video useful. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then you can subscribe by clicking the icon below. The full length videos can be found at my website tipsonballettechnique.com. You can also choose your next video by clicking from the selection here. Thank you and I hope to see you soon.